Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. <laughs> and we're almost done. We're almost done. Sequel month is almost over. <laughs> I only have one more movie to review. Just one more. And who knows? Maybe it'll be good. I mean, for crying out loud, you can't always judge a book by its cover. No, oh, I said that one! Yes, Care Bears is another one of those classic what-the-hell-were-you-thinking moments of nostalgia. We all hate to admit it, but we did watch this lovey-dovey bullshit. And it has not aged well with time. The first film was bad, but I gave it credit that at least it had some atmosphere, a decent pace, and a pretty cool villain. This film... Ugh, oh, let's just get sequel month over with. Let's dive right into the Care Bears Movie 2. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's not THE Care Bears Movie 2, it's just Care Bears Movie 2. I guess the word THE was just cramping the title style. And on top of that, it's not just Care Bears Movie 2, it's a new generation. So really, the opening should look like this. So as the credits roll, we see this ship in the middle of the ocean being handled by a bear and a horse. Isn't it always? They're taking care of a big bundle of babies that are sleeping down below. So I guess this is the new generation, right? Actually, no, it's the exact same generation, they're just all babies now. Well, that would make this a prequel then, right? Actually, no, because the Care Bear cousins, like the lion, the penguin, and so forth, they're in there as well. Even though the first film stated they had a completely different backstory. So, I guess the bear and the horse are their parents, right? Actually, no, because, well, how the fuck does a bear and a horse get together and produce a lion, a sheep, a penguin, and god knows what else? And for that matter, how the hell does she squeeze all those little bastards out at the same time? Her cooch must be hanging to the fucking floor! And, hi, what the fuck are they doing in the middle of the ocean with a bajillion fucking babies? Fucking credits aren't even over and this movie makes no goddamn sense! It's Care Bears! It shouldn't be that hard to follow! <laughs> So, another creature with no real origin pops up named Darkheart. We have no idea what he is, where he came from, or how he works, but he's just evil. Ooh. God has you, Care Bears. Taste the holy rainbow of awesomeness, motherfuckers! Taste the holy rainbow of awesomeness! No matter where you go, I will find you. So their boat gets an upgrade. Or downgrade. And the Care Bears enter into... Care Hala, as we finally see who pulled them out of trouble. Well done, my little star and hard buddies. Uh, let me guess, we're never gonna be told what that thing is. Yeah, great, terrific. We're, what, five minutes in and already nobody has any idea what's going on! I mean, this new generation isn't a new generation. The evil thing chasing them, we have no idea what it is. That creepy star face... Ew! I mean, why is this even called Care Bears 2? It's in no way continuing the story from the last movie! They're just changing it halfway through and all the little kids are praying their parents are gonna know what's going on, but fuck it, we don't have a clue! It's like doing Lord of the Rings and as soon as you hit the two towers, the author's like, Eh, fuck it. Let's make Frodo a porcupine. Aragorn will be an easy bake oven. And Sauron the Lord of Evil is now being replaced with a pencil sharpener. We'll never explain why, but fuck it! Nobody will notice! What the fuck's wrong with you?! Our search is now over. We have found the two creatures whose love and kindness for others is so great that it sets them apart from the rest of the world. By dragging these newborns into harsh, dangerous waters, you've shown just how much you truly care for them. That didn't sound right. So we do find out that the cubs are orphans at least, though why an orphanage is on a boat in the middle of the water, I have no idea. And we're told their ultimate purpose. And as they have helped and protected the little orphan cubs, they shall help others to share their feelings and protect everyone from Dark Heart's evil. Thanks, curiously non-denominational star god! We'll enjoy carrying out your incredibly vague quest! So the caretakers are now given the name True Heart and Noble Heart. And they have the incredibly simple task of making everybody in the friggin' world feel better! 
Um, yeah, you may want to look into outsourcing, curiously non-denominational star god. Oh, what am I to do? Thankfully, only one set of kids is having problems in the whole entire world, and that's John, Dawn, and Christy. I could have sworn that maybe some Afghan kids were feeling a little blue, but nope, just seems to be these three. Lucky, lucky. No! First back! I win! You three are last at everything. If you can't keep up, leave. Up after you do the trash duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always loved those camps that had no camp counselors and only let the kids call the shots. Things always turned out fair that way. I hate being last and I hate being here. He's right. We'll always be last. So Christy decides to run away because she's not able to be what she's always dreamed. Can you guess what that is? Camp champ, 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 camp champ. I'm gonna say a bitch. The other two kids decide to come with, but get lost along the way. True Heart comes across the children, and in typical Care Bears fashion, they never question why the fuck a talking bear is in front of them. Running away from a problem never solved it. You two are just too worried about the things you can't do. Maybe you should think about all the things you can do. Like what? Like stopping producers from making movies based on characters from greeting cards. That'd be a great thing you can do! So Trueheart has a very weird idea by taking the two kids to their home and putting them to work looking after the babies because... child labor is a sign of caring, I guess. God! There's only so much cutesiness I can take! I mean, tell me, do they shit sprinkles or Lucky Charms? Because nothing else would make this crap any more schmaltzy! Seriously, who had the idea for this anyway? Even the devil couldn't think of something so terrible! Funny you should mention that. Sage? Yes. You're... you're the devil? <laughs> really? Who else could it be? Well, okay, fair enough, but what the hell are you doing here? Well, I've come to explain this unholy abomination that you humans call Care Bears. Really? So you're the one who created Care Bears, huh? But how would you do that? It's harmless. No, Critic. There are several subconscious messages that are being planted in little children's minds. Well, like what? Well, for example, notice how the caretakers leave the children behind with these two little delinquents looking after them? Well, this is to show that being a deadbeat parent is okay. No kidding! And abandoning your children who can't take care of themselves to be raised by other children who can't take care of themselves is the way of the future. Also notice how the Care Bears always use magic to solve their problems. Well, this is to show the little children that the black arts are the path toward life. It should be used in more everyday occurrences. Good lord, are there more subconscious messages like this? <laughs> you have no idea. Oh. I am the devil! The <laughs> devil! <laughs> yeah, well, your head looks like it's coming out of a vagina. Hey, this is stylish! And speaking of devils, we get another visit from Darkheart, as he talks to Christy by turning himself into a boy. And just to make the coherency in this movie even more confusing, not only do the main two kids look like the main two kids from the first movie, but Darkheart is voiced by Nicholas from the first movie, and Christy is voiced by the girl from the first movie. As if this shit wasn't confusing enough already. You are the camp champ, ain't you? No, I'm not. Well, you sure could have fooled me. Who are you? I have so many names. You wouldn't want to be the camp champ, would you? I could fix it for you. I don't know. There's only one catch, though. Your soul! It's no big deal. Sometime I'll drop by and ask you to return the favor. And you just do it. No questions asked. What do you say? Uh, come on, it's an offer you can't refuse, huh? So Darkheart makes her dream come true, and she's suddenly a sports all-star. By the way, am I the only one who thinks Darkheart sounds like the evil dead demons? Beware, Trueheart. 
soon are be coming for you. We are the things that were and shall be again. I wouldn't mind so much if they didn't steal the continuity from the Evil Dead movies as well. Knowing that it was only a matter of time before Darkheart found them, Nobleheart and Trueheart moved the little cubs to a safer place. And seeing how in a later scene Darkheart finds them anyway, this was completely pointless. So years go by as the Care Bears and Care Bear Cousins all grow up into their adult form, yet somehow the children on Earth never change! What, is there some sort of space-time continuum thing that Carolot is pulling off? Actually, this is all once again a part of my plan. Oh, what? The whole time change thing is part of your plan? Yes. You see, when the girl made that deal with Darkheart, it caused time to slow down for her. No doubt showing that a deal with the devil has many perks and benefits. Like living forever! <laughs> If you would like to sell your soul today, just dial this number. Whether it be power or glory, or being the camp champ, all opportunities are open to you. PISS OFF! Remember, if it ain't the devil, it ain't worth hell. So yeah, like I said before, even though they moved all the way to Carolot, Darkheart finds them anyway. How? Only the baked minds of the riders could answer that for ya. He claims he's there to fix the caring meter, which it turns out is really broken. Um, good timing, I guess. We're having a party. Who likes games? Oh, me! Blind man's bluffer's down there, and leapfrogger's up there. <laughs> Time for a game of disappearing bears. <laughs> I don't know why, I really love the way he says that one line. Time for a game of disappearing bears. It almost sounds like he's channeling Christopher Walken, it just cracks me up. Time for a game of disappearing bears. This is not awesome! So Darkheart plans to capture all of the Care Bears together with... a bag. The Lord of Evil's secret weapon is a bag. Hey, here's a crazy idea. Um, remember when you turned into that giant killer dragon before? Um, why don't you just do that again? I mean, I know it's not as subtle as a bag, but I think it would still be much more effective. We're terribly sorry. Can we give you a hand? No. No, 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 you are not. Keep your kindness and affection to yourself. It's Darkheart. So Darkheart shows off his real form, but luckily Trueheart and Nobleheart are there to lead the attack against him. You have won today, but I'll be back. So Nobleheart and Trueheart try to track him down and defeat him once and for all, leaving the rest of the Care Bears to look after the Earth. But Darkheart goes back to Christy to ask about the favor she promised him. I want to trap the Care Bears, and I have a plan. The world must learn to fear me, Darkheart! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. It isn't Darkheart, it's Darkheart! And what if I refuse to help you? What then? Do you want to go back to being the little girl who never won anything? The one who always came in last? Oh no! Yes, it's either help the Lord of Darkness rule the Earth, or be pissy poor at sports! Don't make her choose! So of course, like an idiot, she agrees, and they go riding into the night. Come now, we're wasting time. Whoa. Hey, this is a lot like those Twilight movies- No, it's not! Well, Butch, come back to that shit! So Christy and Darkheart plan a trap for the bears by making it look like she's stuck in a canoe. Help! Um, is this really a Care Bear related matter? I mean, it's not like she doesn't care that she's in the canoe. Oh! Yeah! Yay, he got to use his fucking little bag. I guess it can make a handy weapon if you force it on the scenario. It's Darkheart! You mean Darkheart! Well, we can't just sit here. We have to help that little girl. Secret Bear and I saw her throw her paddles into the water. She's working with Darkheart! She Judas! Why so glum, Christy? You're doing a great job. There will be no one left to stop me. Ah! Whoa! Wow. Dark Heart! He's a bit of a klutz, isn't he? 
but luckily Christy has a soft spot for satanic spawns of darkness. You saved me. Why? You're still a person. If you knew what was good for you, you would have left me. Yeah, I have to admit, tripping and hitting your head on a canoe is a pretty funny way to go for the ruler of all evil. What's that? He hit his head on a canoe and drowned. Huh. I can't believe we were actually afraid of this guy. Well, let's break out the peppermint shops. So just like the first film, Dark Ha turns all the people in the world into jerks. With Christie's help, Darkheart had trapped almost every one of the Care Bears and Care Bear cousins. How? I mean, did she really keep calling for help and those fuzzy little idiots kept going after her? How many times do you fall for that? Each time we go to help someone in trouble, that someone could be Christy setting another trap. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you just not go after Christy? I mean, this is really simple. If you hear her screaming, just don't go. How fucking hard is that? Help! Help! Nope, nope, not interested, no. Oh, somebody help me! No, 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 I can't hear you. Help! Care Bears get the two kids together and decide to put a stop to Dark Heart evil. They end up at his hideout, which, conveniently enough, happens to be right at the campground. There's Braveheart's signal. No! Oh, we thought it was something else. So they go into Skeletor's workout basement, only to find that Dark Heart is there waiting for them. Now I have you all. Uh... You can't keep us in here, Darkheart! Oh, I don't intend to. I have a very special place all set. <sighs> but that will keep until after I've rested. Yeah, I guess the Lord of Darkness is sleepy. Kind of odd, you'd think he'd be more awake for the destruction of his mortal enemy. But that little star and heart come in to pick the locks. Good work! Oh no! Little Star Buddy can't unlock all these doors! You're right, and we don't have much time! Well, I guess the rest of you gotta die! Toodles! No, they go to get the key from around his neck, as he keeps changing shape as he snoozes. Any logical person would just squash the bastard while he's a frog, but that wouldn't be caring enough! Ow! But the plan backfires as he banishes all the Care Bears into little red crystals. The kids show up to see the evil he's done, Christy included. And the caretakers show up as well. The time has come to put an end to your evil trickery. Ah. Uh. What was that? Did he just lay an egg? Ah. Uh. So Christy gets zapped, but manages to use her marbles and get the chandelier down. That well, was a good thing she knew that would work, and not shatter them into a million bloody pieces. No! Have I done? No, really, what have I done? I, I, I don't, don't know what this is. is. Help me, Care Bears. We can't. It would take more love and caring than even we have. If you can't help, who can? Nobody, she screwed. Bye! We care. We all really care. If all of us and everyone everywhere all care together, it just might be enough to save Christy. And when we say everywhere, we mean specifically the few dolly theaters that were desperate enough to show this film. We care. We care. If you have ever cared, we do it now. Help us. Tell us you care. Tell your friend next to you that you care. Tell them how much you care. Tell them again. Say it. Shout it! Help us! We care! We care! We care. I believe in Santa Christ! What? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Um, force I had it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. F***ing bears! I know the feeling. I care. I care. 
Now, just out of curiosity, Devil Sage, what evil underlining message were you trying to get across here? More abortions. What? This is recommending abortions? Yes. I'm actually surprised you don't see the connection, really. You see, the girl is like the fetus, and the care bears are like the scalpel. Okay, never mind, let's just get through this. Of course, Christy comes back to life despite your inevitable empty silence, and everything seems to be alright. Okay, that didn't happen, but they do escape in time and find that everybody's okay. Your eyes! Look! I'm a boy! A real boy! Whoopee! So it turns out the evil hell spawn all this time just wanted to be a real little boy. Who knew? Hell, maybe even Pinocchio had a similar backstory. I'm a real boy! <laughs> So that's Care Bears Movie 2, A New Generation, and can't believe I'm saying this, but it's not as good as the original. And of course, the first film is bad, but it did have a three-act structure and some understanding of character. This movie's just a mess and a bore. Outside of maybe the kid characters, no one in this movie is given enough screen time to build any character development. I mean, even very basic development. The story's all over the map, that is when it's not just rehashing the first movie again. And of course, there's a million confusing plot holes about the basic origins of these guys. It's just a lame, lame movie. All these sequels were lame! If I had my way, I'd have them eradicated from my memory! I can make that possible, you know. Really? You can? Yes. It is totally within my powers. Oh god, that'd be wonderful! Go ahead and do it! By the, by the powers of darkness, darkness. By, by the minions of hell, by, by the- Did you really think I was the devil? What? The devil. Did you really think I was the devil? I was the freaking devil? I bought this costume at a freaking Walmart! Oh, you're, you're not the devil then, huh? No! Ugh, what a shame. I was gonna give you everything to get rid of these sequels. Everything? Yeah, everything. Um... Congratulations! You passed the I'm not the devil test. You passed with flying colors. <laughs> I was just testing to see how strong your faith really was. How does that work? Never mind. Anyway, I can remove all these memories of these bad sequels, and all you have to do is wire every bit of your money into my PayPal account. Done! Wow. So, you get rid of all the sequels from my memory? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I can feel them perishing from my mind. Yeah, it'll do that. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, oh, and they're totally gone. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Elzebub? Hmm? Oh, uh, jump off a cliff or something. Yes, sir! <laughs> my god. Maybe I am the devil. to say, but he's perfect in every way. Time for a game of disappearing bears.